Okay guys, here's part two of our test from today. So which one of these is the same as 14 plus 27? Um, just looking at it, I know it's a factoring problem, so I'm gonna start with an area model. And I actually know that nine can go into both of these numbers. Nine can go into 45 five times, and nine can go into 27 three times. So my answer is, nine times five plus three. But if you didn't remember that, you could have just added them up together and seen which one has the exact same number. So if I added these two, I would have gotten 72. So you could have tried all of these out to see which one gives you 72. Nine times 15 doesn't give me 72. 45 times 27 doesn't. 14 times 12, nope, that's way more. And this would have been the only one, nine times eight, that would have given you 72. I skipped number 18 because it didn't get my number lines, so just go to the next one. And you actually had to do your multiplication. I remember I, I don't really care how you multiply this, but in the beginning, just forget that there's a decimal at all and just multiply. It doesn't really matter to me if you use lattice or whatever. I'm just going to use traditional for now. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 6 is 24 plus 1 is 25. 4 times 5 is 20 plus 2 is 22. And I like this because it's all by ones. One times four, one times six, one times five, nine, eight, seven. Now I have to remember my decimals. I have one, two, three. So just like the song, to the left, to the left. Move that decimal all the way to the left. And I get seven and eight hundred ninety-six thousandths. Matches my work. Okay, another division one. I gave you so much division today. Place value is important. 25 cannot go into 1, cannot go into 12, but it can go into this number 5 times. 5 times 25 is 125. 49. 25 can go into 49 one time. And I get 24. So I'm gonna have to oh, put a decimal. Well, at least I know these two are not the answer. It can go into 240, let's see, four quarters and 100, eight quarters and 200, plus one, so I'll make it nine more. That's 225. I like to use a lot of common sense when doing these. And 25 goes into 150 six times. Boom, there's my answer. So my work matches. You have to think about your place value. Okay. Keep going. Here is my extended response. And the first one, I wanted to know the sum of D and seven. So sum means to add D and seven. Since this is uh, commutative, if you had seven plus D, I would have given it to you. Okay, so now I have four D minus eight when D equals 12. So we talked about this. This is four times the number. So this is four times 12 minus eight. Let's use our order of operations. That's 48 minus 8 is 40. And the last part, I have the expression 6d squared when d equals 6. So 6 times 3 squared. Order of operations, I have to do this exponent first. 3 to the second power is 9. 6 times 9 is 54. Okay, let's keep going. This one, a lot of people ask me how many terms, and I didn't mean variables, I really meant terms. So this is a term, 6x is a term, 3z is a term, my exponent, my coefficient and my variable. Here's a term, and here's another term, I have four terms to deal with. Okay, so what do I do when g equals 5? 24 plus 4 times 5, it's still times. 4 times 5 is 20. 24 plus 20 is 44. Okay. Which is the coefficient? Has a coefficient of 2. Coefficient is like a co-partner. So it's someone's partner in the term. So if I have two numbers like this, this is my coefficient, this is my variable. This is my co-partner, my coefficient, that's my variable. So this does not have a coefficient of 2. Neither does this. I just this. It's the only one that has a coefficient of 2. I don't know why this made this little mark here, but I have 5 plus 3w 
times 6 when my W is equal to a 2. So 5 plus 3 times 2 times 6. I'm going to multiply from left to right. 5 plus 6 times 6. 5 plus 36. 41. So my answer should be just 41. We're moving along pretty well. Sorry for the shaky handwork. Three videos on my iPhone. But I hope you guys are figuring out what you're doing well and what you need help with. Okay. So our coding, we said we mark the operation word, so product of 13. So that means it's going to be times 13. 13 times the sum of a number and 32. So I mean, I'm going to add a number and 32, and I'm supposed to multiply this by 13. Which one kind of shows that? I could also have the 13 in the front and the number plus 32. And the only one that kind of matches my work, this one exactly matches my work. Okay, let's look at the next one. 7x squared plus y. My x is equal to a 3. 7 times 3 squared plus 4. Okay, before I multiply, I have to do this. 3 times 3 is 9. 7 times 9 plus 4, 7 times 9 is 63, plus 4 is 67. Done. All order of operations. All right, now I want the least common multiple of 12 and 24. We did this in the first video, multiple, so I'm skip counting. 12, wait a minute. It's the very first number, 24 and 24. So I didn't want factors, I wanted multiples. I trick a lot of kids with that because we always forget. There are a few factors, but there are many multiples because they go on forever. This is another one I did in the beginning, so sorry about that. It came out. It looks kind of like the other one. Um, which one is equivalent? So we saw this before. This one is equal to 72. Which one is going to equal 72? Okay, let's see. 15 plus 10 is 25. 3 times 25 does not equal 72. 9 times 8 does equal 72. We'll just check the other ones. 9 times 2 would not equal 72. And 18 times 3, nope, that's 54. So it looked repetitive, but I kind of showed it in a different way. Two more to go. My fault on this one, I've changed my question, forgot to change my answers. But when I'm subtracting, order still matters. Even though this one looks bigger, because it's the second number, I'm, I'm subtracting 8 and 835 thousandths. It has to be second. Need a placeholder. Okay. I really like trading first, because I can't figure this out. I can do 9 minus 8, but I can't do 7 minus 8. So let's borrow now. We will do our regrouping. Uh, I can't do this, so I'm going to borrow again. Now I have 12 minus 3, and I can regroup here. 11 minus 10. Okay, now I can do my subtraction. 5, 8, 8, 0. And just had to show your work for this one because none of the choices matched. But I can even check my work. 5 plus 5 is 10. 8 plus 3 is 11. 8 plus 8 is 16. 0 plus 8 is 8. And I know I'm right. And the last one using order of operations 7 times 4 plus four squared divided by two. Left to right, left to right. So I'm gonna do my parentheses first. 28 plus four squared divided by two. Now I'm gonna do my exponents. 28 plus 16 divided by two. Multiply or divide from left to right. I'm gonna do this part first. 28 plus 8, and now my adding or subtracting 28 plus 8 is 36. So that's the last part. Um, I hope you check and see how many things you were able to do really well, and things that you really need help on, or things that you're making silly errors on, those are the things I want you to practice. So you can leave comments on types of things you know you want more help on, and I can make those videos next time. Enjoy your Thanksgiving break.